Hi, welcome to the overall March week, March monthly reading for all signs. I had to literally construct something to balance on my phone because I just followed spirit with this. Um, this morning I had no plans on doing a March monthly reading, but um, something kept pulling at me that we had to pull cards specifically for this mo for this March for m this month for all signs. There's so much going on. There's so much that needs to be accomplished. And even though Mercury is in retrograde as of today, it doesn't make a difference. We still have to get so much done. And this is what we feel like all through the month. This is, I asked literally after pulling all the energy of what we're working with, what our journey of the month is going to be like, what in the end are we going to feel like all through the month. And if you could see the close up, just keep your eyes on this image. You are the queen of wands. You are making it happen. It's your fiery, passionate drive, ambition. You have what it takes. You will not be deterred. You will be focused. You're owning it. Um, you're going for what you need to accomplish. And nothing is going to stop you. It doesn't matter if Mercury or all the planets are in retrograde. You have things to do, and you're going to be getting them done. So... I think it's really, I think we're pulling a lot of cards this month because despite what might go in retrograde or anything else, there are other planets and other things in your chart or divinely meant that this is a very important month. Um, so we need to stay focused. We need to stay grounded. We need to stay in the practical everyday details. I think with Mercury going retrograde, we even have to pay more attention to that. Um, we have so much going on that we're going to have to really make sure that A, B, C, D, E, all the way through Z is getting done all, all each step. Um, and there might be going, having to go back and redo things, reschedule, uh, send something by email again, uh, travel delays, things like that. Work with it, but do not let it deter you. There's so much to accomplish. We, this is a very divine month in that we're going to be getting a lot done multitasking. We have a lot to accomplish and remain this queen of wands. So the first thing I did was pull energy cards. So let me show you what we're working for. And I even clarified. So it's going to make such sense. The first energy we're dealing with is hostilities. So I was like, okay, is that coming from within or from without, you know, people coming up against us that we have to battle with or from ourselves? Hold on to that thought. Let me show you the rest of the energy. We have yin and yang balance of the energies and look at this angel of balance what this already told me and I will I also clarified this hostilities with two more energy cards which only um, illuminates what I was picking up from these cards hostilities yes you might find some hostilities from outside people maybe some things won't be going as smoothly or as you like I don't think people are going to be necessarily stepping out to battle with you. Things might not just be moving the way that you like, and it might be a little obstruction from other people. But most of all, what I was getting was that this was inside, that this was in, inside us, that we have are battling things within ourselves that might uh, have held us back in the past. Maybe it's insecurities or doubts or... Um, even hostilities towards other people that could cause like almost like a wall that we weren't I'll go back to why I'm saying this yin and yang is perfect balance here angel of balance to go from hostilities and yin and yang bringing in this balance and then becoming the angel of balance is a whole journey and to end up with the angel of balance is such a path to get through here. See how she's battling, she's balancing these, uh, this glass of emotions. Um, it's finding that balance within ourselves, no matter what happens in the outside world. Standing in our truth, in our almost angelic innocence, fully um, balanced in our emotions, in our mind, in our body. No matter what has happened in the outside world, fully in balance. We've become manifested into this angel of balance. So to go from any hostilities, whether it's with other people, lowering the influence of the hostilities with other people, not letting it affect our balance as much. Also with inside, if we had any doubts or insecurity, we're finding a new yin and yang balance within ourselves that we're becoming this angel of balance, meaning 
if the bad or the dark came in, whether it's from inside or outside, it's not affecting us anymore. It's not stopping us from being this queen of wands in accomplishing what we need to do. We, we are going through this whole journey to become this angel of balance and knock out these hostilities, drown out the hostilities, whether from inside or out, with this new balance manifesting into this new angel of balance. And I say that because even to further clarify what I was picking up from these cards to make sure it was more from our inside hostilities rather than outside, we got to clarify the hostility card, the fourth chakra, which is Archangel Raphael, which is all about the heart, your heart opening up. It could also be self-love for yourself, new self-respect for yourself, standing up for yourself, the love for yourself. And look at this goddess of the moon. It's uncovering, uncovering the inner, your love for yourself, your new respect for yourself, opening up your love, your heart chakra even more. This also helps with um, mending those hostilities with other people because you're opening up your heart more. Maybe things that you had higher expectations, um, you were demanding more of others. Maybe you're opening up your heart a little more and uncovering that you're going to be fine either way. It doesn't really matter. They don't have that much weight as they used to. They can't affect you as strongly because you are this now, you brought in this new balance and you're balancing this cup um, much better and easier. They can't. People's toxic energy or negative um, energy can knock you over where you spill your cup. But if you're this angel of balance, you have new balance. No one can shake you. No one can stir you. You're holding this steady um, no matter what the outside influences are. I also strongly feel that you're uncovering within your own heart. You're cleansing out and you're remedying those old hostilities that you even had for yourself that held you back, whether that was insecurities or doubts that we have about accomplishing things, we're um, healing. It's a, a sense of healing and balance. So the journey um, is amazing that we got for the first tarot card for March is the strength card. And I have to tell you, it takes a lot of great inner strength to do this journey of finding new balance within yourself, no matter what's going on in the outside world, no matter what kind of outside feedback you're getting, whether people are going along with your plans or not, whether it's working out smoothly or not, whether people are getting miffed around you, you know, whatever it is, you're not as easily swayed. I mean, this is very, this takes great strength to be this angel of balance to be balanced no matter what life throws at you, no matter what other people throw at you. And also there's a new strength within yourself that you know that you can accomplish what you have to this month. I love this card. It's one of my favorite major arcanas in the deck. And it shows that you have this, look at this card. You have this, well, this focus. Here you go. It's like this, you're linked with the divine. You have this inner quiet strength that you're gonna get things done and you don't have to rock the boat. You don't even have to be hostile about it. You don't have to be fighting with anybody about it. You have the strength to make things happen and calm the situation down and remedy situations with this profound inner strength that you've built all through your lifetime. Um, and then it's leading to celebrations here. So something's coming together where it's going to be happy times. It's going to be some celebrations here. Things are going to be working out in your favor. It took a lot of inner strength to get to this point. You had to remain balanced through this. You had to remain focused as this queen of wands. And there's something in March that's going to be celebratory. Um, you're going to be having good times with friends, um, joyous times, that kind of thing. Um, it also shows that you're working really hard, and this is a, sh a sign almost of overworking, of carrying too much weight, of uh, feeling burdened. Maybe you put in a lot of work in something and you can't wait until it's completed. And hold on to that because the crowning cards that we got is just fantastic. So if you've been this Queen of Wands doing a million different things, it looks like you're, you've planted, you've really done a lot of work here, and um, you're carrying this load to finally release it, and, um, you know, look at these crowning cards. Are you ready for this? This was not in vain. You have the Page of Swords here. This is like new ideas, new thoughts, new aha moments, new offers, new job offers, new projects, new, um, any, new, new news coming in. And um, it's probably from other people, but watch this, the Hierophant. But in this reading, 
this is a spiritual card, but this also reminds, you know, spiritual organizations and things. But I feel like there's new offers or new ideas, something coming in from institutions that you're working with. And I say that because I think it's going to be coming to completion, this load that you've been working on for so long in coming into March. And it's going to be a harmonious resolution with these other people. So you've been working really, really hard and it will be completed. Um, whatever you've been working on with these institutions um, and it's going to be a harmonious end and this is all from the balance this new balance that you created for yourself um, really a sense of new balance that you could even handle this burden for so long and you've remained this queen of wands so I want to get some more additional um, let's try some goddess guidance and see what our advice is for March as we are trying to accomplish so much and we have to remain in this Queen of Wands energy no matter what the planets look like. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mercury is in retrograde. We have a lot to get done. We have this inner strength that will help us through. We're going to have some good times here, but we're also carrying a lot of weight on our shoulders. We've been working really hard. We have a lot of things going in the fires. The All the fires are burning. And um, we have this newfound balance, the balance within ourselves, the balance that we're achieving with other people, um, this new balance that we're bringing into our lives is going to enable us to carry this load to the very end. That's what I really think it is. Um, inside and out, we have achieved the sense of balance where we can accomplish all of this and remain steadfast um, to achieve our goals. And we've uncovered a lot within our, deep within our hearts, too. Um, definitely uncovered a lot deep within our hearts is the energy to us, to achieve this balance. Maybe it's being really honest with ourselves of what we want and need, um, not deceiving ourselves about our strength to get this done. I don't know. What's our guidance? Let's see what our guidance is for March. For the month of March for everyone, what is our goddess guidance? Ooh, jeez, they're flying up. Wow. Love this card. Butterfly maiden transformation. Yes. And look at this. You know, for some reason in this card, the rainbow, it always reminds me of temperance card. This transformation has been made possible because of the new balance that you've achieved. And just like it says, angel of balance, this yin and yang, the strength card, the inner strength. This is why these transformations are occurring because you have reached new levels um, of, of new balance within yourself and it's allowing these transformations. It's allowing you to move forward and um, make these transformations in March. And it says you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Yeah. And this has all been the work of ourselves, of being clearer within our hearts, opening up, you know, being uh, kinder and stronger within ourselves, almost like full of love and respect and also other people. And this new balance has just been transformational in our lives. And you're going to be feeling the difference in March by the choices you make with this new balance, the amount of work and things that you can accomplish with this new balance. Um, there's been a lot of healing involved, um, deep within your heart about releasing any insecurities or doubts about your own strength and balance that you can accomplish all of this. Um, also you're not allowing other people to affect your transformation anymore. Um, they don't have enough weight to knock you off balance as they might have in the past. So a lot of positive transformations are happening in March because of the work that we've done so far and this burden um, we've been carrying is going to almost put it down and and we'll see the transformation. Um, let's just end it with um, some blessings. Blessings for March after we're working so hard, trying to accomplish everything. What are the blessings um, for the month of March? As we work really hard, we remain this Queen of Wands. There are lots of positive transformations, and it's all because of this balance. 
this new balance. We've been so brutally honest with ourselves and other people and with our time and energy and we put people in their proper place. And this Queen of Wands, she does not, she's in a place of power. She doesn't take any crap. She doesn't get distracted from what she needs to passionately accomplish. She's fiery and ambitious. Um, no one can diminish her flame. You're the Queen of Wands. You're burning bright. Maybe that's why for the first time I lit these candles, these little things in the back. I've never done that before. They never fit on the table while I was doing the reading. But, um... So goes along with keeping your fire burning bright and not letting anyone diminish it. You're really powerful. And we have the strength part there too. So you're going to be accomplishing a lot and to remain powerfully lit and balanced. And those transformations are, coming, are happening in March. Definitely. I think your life is going to be shape shifted a little bit. And here we go. What's the blessing for March? Ooh, ooh, jeez. Gosh, I knew they wanted something. Oh my gosh, my inner wisdom. And it says, I count myself as a valuable, insightful, and objective observer of life. Looking at my life and my situation, I applaud my capacity for wise choices, discerning action, I am more clear-eyed and perception and perceptive than I have often thought. Oh my gosh, if you read this again, this is an explanation point on everything about this new sense of balance of digging deep this moon card into your own heart and releasing those insecurities and doubts. Didn't I talk about that and the strength card coming out as the first card? Again, we have to read this again. I count myself as a valuable, insightful, and objective observer of life looking at my life and my situation i applaud my capacity for wise choices discerning action i am more clear-eyed and perceptive than i have often thought and this is what's leading to our transformation it's this heart chakra that opened up this fourth chakra card this we have done dug deep into our own hearts and released we are applauding our own capacity for our wise choices and our discerning action is all this queen of wand energy. I'm more clear eyed and perceptive than I've often thought. We're giving ourselves credit for how far we've come, what we're doing right now, what we're accomplishing now. This is only reigniting our flame even higher and higher to we're we're building up our arsenal to remain this queen of wands. We're refueling our flame to go higher and stronger no matter what's going on in the outside world, it doesn't really matter. If someone doesn't like it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even hinder us. It doesn't even land where it might have before. We're looking at ourselves objectively in a sense of true, almost proudness or a sense of, yeah, what I'm doing is valuable. It is worthy. It is good enough. Uh, you know, wow, look at how much I've accomplished, whether anyone on the outside has seen it, noticed it or not. It's a newfound, deep within your soul balance that you are your own best supporter, your own best audience. And this is what's really fueling our fire. And it's my own inner wisdom. It's your own inner wisdom knowing that you're on the right track, you're accomplishing the right things, you have a new sense of balance, you're strong enough and you're balanced enough to get this all done with your transformation. Let's pull another Blessings card. I really love it. For some reason, my soul is like drinking in these. Um, let's see if I can focus a little better. Yeah, it's like really drinking in these Blessings for some reason. I think that we all need to be drinking this in to help um, ooh, help us. This like they're flying out. They scare me almost. Oh my gosh. Serving the whole. Serving the whole. And this message is, in every moment, uh, let me focus this. In every moment, I am given opportunities for creative service. Sometimes that service is simple witness. I count and encounter the blessings of life. I recognize and honor the dignity of those whom I meet. Yeah, and that also helps with any hostility or, um, but, Serving the whole, everything that you're doing now. Remember, 
um, as you're the Queen of Wands accomplishing for yourself, you're actually serving the whole as well. When you're really in line, when you're really at your core, honest and standing in integrity and going for what you want, the almost the overflow of that is you're helping the whole. You're really helping the whole, whatever you're going for. And inevitably, whatever you're accomplishing, when it's coming from that channel, um, I hope this makes sense what I'm trying to say in words, but it can't help but help the whole. When you're so in touch with your inner wisdom and following it, it's um, it's so divine. You're tapped into the divine. So whatever you're divinely doing is already divinely helping the whole. So always remember that too um, this month. That, oh, jeez. And the last one, oh my gosh, charity. This is kind of in that vein. But charity, let's see. Mine is a charitable heart. It is rooted in the wisdom of compassion. It is fed by the springs of self-love. That is what this journey has been about, about this newfound balance and this inner strength. When you have self-love, when you, you feed your self-love, what I was saying before, you're the queen of wands, but you have been feeding yourself with this new balance and inner strength that your flame is higher and stronger and cannot be blown out, diminished, lessened, by other people, other things in life. It just remains strongly burning because you have reached this place that you're feeding the springs of self-love. And maybe that's something we all had to work on for a really long time. Um, anyway, okay, I'll start over, but I had, a, I had to uh, go on about that. Mine is a charitable heart. It is rooted in the wisdom of compassion. It is fed by the springs of self-love. Taking a compassionate view of myself and others I act in the world with gentle temperance. I am not rash in action, harsh in judgment, quick in condemnation of those I see. Oh my God. If this does not sum up this entire reading back here when we talked about hostilities, whether it's coming from inside or others, you have this new compassion that's so deep within your heart, this um, fourth chakra opening up and this new balance, it doesn't affect you anymore. There is a new compassion there. Your heart is more open to yourself and others. So things are not rocking your world as much when you come from this compassionate place. It sums up this whole energy. That last part, I act in the world with gentle temperance. Even that transformation card, these transformations are happening because of that new gentle temperance, which also is that strength card because that's gentle strength. That's not a forcible aggression, aggressive strength. That's that deep, gentle strength, that gentle temperance. And that's what's leading to this transformation, these positive things happening in March, no matter what the planets are doing. Um, I act in the world with gentle temperance. I am not rash in action, harsh in judgment, quick in condemnation of those I see. And that includes yourself. That includes yourself. And let me focus a little bit. But okay, so I think I'm going to end it there. But always remember, you are this queen of wands. And this is what's making it all possible. Keep your fire burning bright. Tap into your inner wisdom this month. Definitely um, your heart is opening. You are more balanced for yourself and in relationship to others. You've been carrying a really heavy load and working so hard. And um, believe me, something's going to be completed with other people. That's going to be good. There's celebratory times here as well this month. And just keep working hard. Hard, hard, hard. Just keep working. That burden you're carrying is not in vain. Again, there's something coming in here with you working with other people that's going to come to completion this month. And um, and also you're entering this whole new transformational phase of being much more balanced, much more balanced and an inner strength. And so your world, your life is going to start reflecting that. It's really going to start affecting that. And as you follow your own inner wisdom and divinely do all the things that, you know, keep your fire burning and all you want to accomplish and strive for, you are actually serving the whole as you go. So let that, you know, light your fire even more. So keep that fire burning bright. Have a fabulous month of March. Accomplish, accomplish, accomplish. Remain balanced. And bravo to you because it looks like a great month. 
Check out my channel for other readings and have a fabulous month. Bye-bye.